Well, as you can see, I'm up here on the roof. I don't have my fiddle. Can't be a fiddler on the roof, but um, there's quite a bit of snow up here with what we already had, and then what about last night, almost two feet, I guess. And uh, you can see by the pitch, the pitch on my shop over there is adequate that uh, the snow slides off of it, but there's a little addition on the back of my house here that is not enough pitch, and so that's what I'm up here working on, shoveling that off. And I got up here last night and had to sweep my dish off the snow mounds up in front of it. <laughs> you can't, can't get any reception. Anyway, that's what I'm dealing with here, and uh, I've got some of it scraped away. Maybe you can kind of see there. Uh, I don't know if you can tell about the depth of that, but it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, what I was going to say is, you know, your house will talk to you, you know, especially if you've got an old house here at Kind of Creek and grown and moan and you'll say, oh, my stairs hurt, something like that, you know, and I got up here and started shoveling and and uh, all of a sudden heard something and I stopped and listened and I got, you know, quite a bit of weight off this roof and all of a sudden my house said, oh. Boy, I just had uh, I just had an epiphany, man, a, a, a revelation, uh, an idea, and uh, you know these. Uh, when I'm pushing this snow down through here, once I get back up in here and get some of it off, I can get a whole load of it and go sliding down through there on that ridge or on the roof, and then uh, my snow catches on that. Roofing nail there, and uh, that screw, roofing screw. So, let me done told you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my little air cut off tool, and I'm gonna cut a, an indentation out of that snow, out of that plow, right there. Cut a notch out. And then when I go sliding it down through there with big little snow on it. Instead of hanging up, it'll just slide right on off. And uh, you know, sometimes I wake up in the morning and just thank God I'm a redneck. And uh, you know, I'm American by birth, but I'm Southern by the grace of God. Well, there we go. I believe that's good enough. And uh, I feel a whole lot better about that. And I think the house does too. And it's starting to rain pretty good. I'm glad I got that done before it just started to downpour like it like it's beginning to do. <laughs> because uh, I'm ahead of it now and I think the rain will go ahead and take the rest of that, that little dab off of there. And I'm going to go ahead and post this on YouTube. The uh, reason I do this YouTube thing a lot is I got a little grandson that lives 2,000 miles away and I only get to see him once a year. And he kind of likes to check in on YouTube and see what his pappy's up to and he calls it the pappy channel on uh, on TV so uh, anyway Dale I'm on the roof today shoveling snow buddy and I wish he's here we'd build a big old snowman and, and uh, make snow angels and 
but I know you got snow too and you can do that I'm gonna uh, post this like I said and I'm sure I'll get some comments about why I didn't do it one way or another way or or why the roof don't have any pits and all that and, and uh and that's okay you know a lot of people that post comments got got really good ideas they're just the only thing is they're not my ideas and you know the fun of being me is to execute my own ideas and if i just did everything else like everybody else would have done it then i'd be uh you know uh useless i wouldn't have a purpose so <laughs> i'd be unnecessary <laughs> So anyway, I have a lot of fun with it, and I like to joke around about it. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's fun to be in an archie, is doing things the archie way. So I'm gonna get in off this roof and see if I can do it without breaking my archie neck. See y'all later.